Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be, woo, child, let me take off these glasses. <laughs> oh goodness. We are going to be doing a monthly budget reset for October. I just completely feel like I need to do like a reset. I feel like I haven't been pretty much maximizing on my budget like I should be. And then also a lot of things for just personally for myself because I think I get in the all in the rut of just pretty much just focusing on financial but i really need to focus on things about me things about taking that time to have for myself also because all of those things pretty much go in hand in hand so some things that i'm going to be doing in this budget reset monthly because usually i just pretty much do all of my bills i'm going to be talking about ways that i'm actually going to be doing things for myself um, that could be either like just including like grabbing myself a cup of coffee every single week from my favorite place, Joe Beans, because even though I do make my coffee at home and I do actually, um, I do love <laughs> saving money for that. I feel like I don't want to get too overly tight with my budget that it becomes where it's actually not a positive thing. It's like a negative thing. You know what I mean? And it's more like I'm worrying about like, oh, I spent this much on coffee, I spent this much on coffee. So I feel like if I'm taking the effort to actually budget, I should be able to be lenient with myself, pretty much rewarding myself um, to do that. So I guess what I want to say is I kind of feel like I've just been kind of beating myself up, <laughs> like not beating myself up, but being so like being a little bit harsh on myself with that. So I think when it comes to a thing like when you're starting to start focusing a little bit too much on money and start focusing a little bit too much on getting it because I know they say like you have to hustle but sometimes it can be a positive thing and I'm learning that sometimes it also can be a negative thing do you get what I'm saying all right so let's go ahead let's hop into setting up my monthly budget and we're going to talk about some of the things that I'm going to be implementing into my budget to soften and kind of back up a little bit all right so let's get started we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hop to first we're gonna grab our stickers <laughs> All right, so I just ordered a pocket. I got this actually off for of Amazon. I'll have the link in my description box. You get like a pocket like this and then you get like a secretary pocket. So I just pretty much, it, it pretty much is staying on there real good. So I just put this in the front on my page here so I can just keep some stickers that I um, normally use. So I do have my Netflix stickers, Payday, and I'm just using my mini stickers here. And then I got some coffee trackers there. So I'm just gonna actually set those right there. We're actually want to go to October section. This month I actually want to change up a bit of things. I want to get more focus on my budget but I don't want to be so hardcore on my budget. Hopefully that is making sense because sometimes like I was saying at the beginning if you're just strictly just that's all you think about that's all you focus or whatever you're going to pretty much scratch your stuff out because not everything is going to go the way that you plan it for your budget all the time. We are going to go ahead and I am going to enter my dates for my calendar. And I'm going to actually just speed that up just a tad bit. And I am just going to use, let me see. All right. I'm just going to use a, it shouldn't take me this long to figure out what color I'm going to use, right? Um, I'm just going to use this. I wonder if this color, is this color white? I don't know. What color do I want to use, guys? I have no, I'm just going to use this little blue color here. We're going to do that. And then I took my pen out there too. And it looks like for October, that starts on a Tuesday and it goes to the 31st. So we're going to go ahead and put our days in. I did have some stickers that I usually put, but I actually ran out of them and I didn't print anymore. So I'm just going to use my marker and I'm just going to put my dates like that.
So I'm gonna go ahead and just put, just for my date, I'm gonna just do a, I guess I'll use this little pen. These are so old school here. I'm just gonna put, um, I'm gonna do red, I'm gonna do Halloween. And these right here, I actually got these from Sam's, but I did see these on Amazon a little bit cheaper. I got like a super pack. It's like different colors. So that's where I got those from. So we had Halloween that's on um, a Thursday. So that's what we have this month. So I'm just going to write that over here, Halloween. I don't know why I'm doing a money sign. 31st. All right. So we have already brought Aiden's costume he's actually going to be the he wanted to be the knight on Fortnite. I, I don't i'm like okay i was thinking he was going to be like optimus prime because last year he was um he was bumblebee so i don't know so right now we're looking at the the, the black knight the knight from Fortnite. that's what we're looking at he has his costume so we've already got that so we don't have to worry about the rush we don't have to worry about wondering where we're going to get the money and we did get that from walmart and the sizes were slim pickings now let's go ahead and we're going to actually add our paydays in and i can actually i'm just going to put this pen to the side so when i do my paydays i just use i don't use cash stuff and stickers that is not what i use i use these little things here so for the paydays this month is going to be on the 11th and then also for the payday, it is actually going to be on the 25th. This is a good practice to put your payday so that way you can see when your check is coming. Because what I do, I work around like all of the things from the last paycheck, the 26th from last month. Um, it's going to be um, all the bills that come out are going to be from that check there and to here. So things that I need to pay with this check will be all of the bills that are coming out. For this month here so that's how i work and i always stop the day before because that day those bills that are due on that day and after are going to be for the check that's there all right and then i'm going to try to and like budgeting is not always perfect so my ideal is i want to do cash stuffing when i get paid on friday and i want it to do it which is the 11th and then also on the 25th now it doesn't always line up like that and i had to come to a moment with myself to say like hey tina it's not going to always work out the way because i used to get kind of upset when i used to have where i used to supposed to do my cash stuffing and i didn't get to do it so i would be like eh. so you have to kind of like have a chat with yourself to be like look calm it down it's not going to always work the way that you want it to work and let's see what else we got okay paid all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to put my coffee tracker stickers this right here a lot of people they just use it for fast food also to track that too and um let's see and then also i can do this with my dine in and dine out savings challenge that i have which that i like when i made it i didn't know and I, it's this one right here when I made it, I didn't realize that how like fun and beneficial it was going to be to me. Like, I mean, if you don't eat out all the time, then it's, you know, you should be able to whiz this. But um, I still got to put Thursday and Friday in. But I am more of like a challenge. Like, nope, I'm going to make my Cheerios at home, which I haven't been through boxes. What are you talking about? <laughs> These are good. Um, yeah, I just eat them plain in a bowl with milk. I might sprinkle like a little bit of sugar on there. I tried to do some almond milk with it, but whew, I couldn't do it. So, eh, yeah, so I had to get back to my vitamin D milk. So, um, that's why, um, I do that and that has helped me so much. And then the money that I have left over for my dine-in, dine-out savings challenge, y'all, I take that cash and this is how I've been actually maximizing on filling up my alpha savings challenge. Y'all, I am like seriously like working it. Like I'm getting through it and we'll talk more about that for my um, later on, but let me go ahead and get these stickers down. All right. 
All right, so next what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna put down, I was gonna write them down already, but I didn't. I wanna use this blue pen here, I'm like switching pens. So I just pretty much take these stickers and I just put them on the days that they are due. So that way I can get like a broad look at what is due for the whole month. And I do have a, I do have a monthly bill tracker that I'm gonna be filling out also. But this right here lets me know like, hey, this bill is due on Thursday, because if you have to make a payment on that's due on the weekend, you can go ahead and do it for Friday so that that way it'll show, you know what I'm saying? So that way it'll show and you know which days are which, like if the 12th is a Saturday or the 9th is a Wednesday. So that's why I actually do this. And then also no spins, you can track on these also. Now for the first thing we have, for bills, we have mortgage and the mortgage. Y'all, this is a chatty video. Usually I'm like zooming through it, but hopefully y'all just stay and watch with me. Mortgage, we are going to do on the first. That goes in. All right, so next we have after school. And for after school, guys, okay, so I found out that I think you can do, you can pay if you wanna just let them go to before school or if you want to pay for just them go to after school. So my schedule has pretty much changed in the morning where it's a little bit behind from when he goes to these, to the, the, the I can't talk, behind where he can go to school. Um, I can actually do car rider, but sometimes my days may be um, where I can't and I need to drop him off. So I was kind of thinking to myself, like maybe I should just try to do just after school because that'll cut it back because after school is just, um, because just after school is just 50, um, it's just $50, I think that's what it is, it's just $50, but the only thing about that is I'm like a person like saying like, what if, what if, what if, um, if, and I like to have things in place, so I'm like saying like, what if one day I do have to go in early, it's like mandatory, and what am I going to do if I can't drop him off at school, you get what I'm saying? So, um, I, I was thinking about like saying like, Hey, let's just do after school. But then I was like, no, bump that scratch that. No, we're not doing that. Cause that would give me anxiety. All right. So we got one eighty five ten for Geico. And that's all right. So that will be on the second. All right. So that, and then next we have Wells credit card, which we're going to do here. So that will be a total of 156. All right. And I think Aiden is in here looking for supplies or something. All right, so that's 156. And then we got after school again. And that is $90. He is taking my paper, y'all. The eighth we have after school. And that's $90. All right, and then next we have the Woda bill, which I just love. Um, because it's it's been like under 60 bucks since we've been here. So I am fully in love with my Woda bill. I can do it, I can dig it awesome next after the water bill we have brinks so brinks is our security system and i think it is pretty cheap compared to like how prices are going up for everything i think it is actually a really good price and i am not going to complain all right so next we have netflix and we're going to use my netflix stickers so netflix is always 15.49 and these do have check boxes so that and these stickers I don't like to claim <laughs> they are woad approved so we have to do 14 but um usually I mean as long as you don't sold them if you um now when you write pen that's a different thing but um your pen might smear but usually the stickers do not they're woad approved I tried it but I don't claim they're woad approved because I'm just like I mean I know I've done it and it doesn't smear but I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> so um Wet it at your own risk. <laughs> okay, so AEP, we're just going to do $300. I'm sure with everything that's happened lately, I'm sure this is going to go up. 
even if you're not using as much as you know so next we have after school so after school is ninety dollars again all right and that will be for the 15th all right and then we have Lowe's so which that will be credit card so that'll be forty one dollars Since we moved in our new house, I'm like, I don't know. Lowe's is like my nice favorite place. I like Lowe's now. <laughs> I used to didn't really like it. Because, I mean, I couldn't buy things for the house because we didn't have room. So, next we have, oh, Discover. I'm going to use this for after school. Here we do that. All right. So, now I need to do Discover. And that would be 175 I almost, I almost messed up there. All right, that's the 22nd. I'm doing good with these stickers this time, y'all. Doing mighty good. All right, so then we have after school, which is here, and then that will be on the 22nd, too. Okay. All right, so next we have Xfinity, which is on the 24th. 24, the 24th. Mm. Girl, need a nap. And then I do have check boxes, so once these are paid, I can just pretty much check them off like so. So gym, um, I remember I kept going back and forth about the gym and pretty much I'm gonna keep it because Aiden's been taking swimming lessons and they're only like 50 bucks. So I was saying like, well, at least he is getting, um, and they have like workout classes and all that stuff like that. It's just, it's not the subscription's fault. It's just that I just needed, um, like I'm saying, um, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking myself and I'm planning, um, like I'm going on my computer and plugging things in. I'm also still doing my planner, but I'm plugging it in on my computer so that I can pretty much check and see when I have time to do certain things. So sitting down at my desk, it does help and having like that specific time to go over everything that I need to do and scheduling routines to get things done has um it's really something that I need to implement into with just regular things and also my budget um and then the last one we have after school and then that is $90 all right and then that will be on the 29th Okay. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with all of our stickers that we're supposed to be putting down. And then my budget focus is to also um, focus on what I wanna say. Routine, I wanna focus on routines, better routines um, to implement along with my budget. And this means like not it doesn't have to be just about money it's like this things personally but it will <laughs> involve money too also okay so let's go ahead after we have all of our bills and everything like that let's go ahead hop over to the next section so this section over here i like to do a budget month outlook so it's pretty much the things i was telling you about like the routine of sitting down typing on my desk figuring out what i'm going to do for um my budget and figuring out like tasks that I need to do and all things like that. So um, last month's wins was I did do um, really, really great with my dine out or dine, dine out or dine in, not challenge. I can't get it out. Um, challenge. I really did crush that. I rocked that. Um, so I did do good. I just put done, done good. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to keep it like that. I done good. <laughs> what is a done good <laughs> Did <it> done 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 <laughs> like what okay um the next another thing of last month's wins was that i did stick with my budget 
Now, a couple of times I did go over for groceries, um, but I did establish a plan in which I had a rescue for it. So if I went over my groceries, I had a buffer in my checking account that would cover that extra so that I'm not putting that on credit cards. And then also I've been pretty much paying down my Lowe's card. And I, and another thing, um, I feel like I've been actually doing pretty good is making my coffee at home. So that is another thing, coffee at home, that I feel like I am doing pretty good about. But so the thing that I feel like I need to change and add because this is something that I feel like I need to start like reward, not well, rewarding myself. And because like I said, having a budget is easy to say like I have a budget, but sticking to it is a little bit more of work that you have to do. And I feel like it is an effort. And if you can stick to your budget, then I, that's like, like some serious kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? So I actually have an envelope in my wallet that I have for um, coffee. So this is my Joe Beans. Um, we have a, I, I mean, Starbucks is okay, but Starbucks is a little strong for me. But if I had to drink Starbucks, I would drink it. So, I mean, I'm not that. And I don't really go to Dunkin', but I do like going to Joe Beans because Joe Beans is pretty much, it's like a local company too. So I do like to support the local companies too. So Joe Beans, I am actually going to, what I'm figuring out is that I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to try to, even though I do make my coffee at home, and I've been, like I said, I've been doing it every single morning. And I have not stopped. Um, so the money that I have left over, I just pretty much roll that over or I'll add it to my alpha savings challenge there. So I am going to actually do, um, it's like pretty much like $7 a cup. So what I'm going to actually do is I want to go to reward myself and to give myself like just a, a moment, just a moment, a Tina say, hey, just to relax. So I'm going to have to think of some more different flavors to come up with because if I'm going to be doing this. All right. So I'm going to think about doing four cups for the month. So that'll be at least, um, no, not four cups a month. So I was thinking about doing one cup a week. I think I may do like two, stop and get two a week. And then, um, cause the money will be for two weeks for, my cash envelope stuffing so that'll be a total of if i go for two weeks so i'll need to start stuffing like 28 dollars in this envelope so that i can get um two cups of coffee each week and then i can get and then that way i can have like a moment to say like ah to relax you know so i'm thinking i probably will um i'm thinking i probably will do that and that's what i probably will do so and that's a moment that I can have all right so that is pretty much my last month's wins and then also another thing is I want to start reading to relax I think relaxing is a big important part of actually because if you're all tensed up I'm just learning I'm learning this if you're all tensed up and you feel like you don't have enough time to like rejuvenate and have, have time to just have like some downtime like this stuff can get very, very, very like tedious and very like, I mean, you'd be ready to scratch somebody's eyeballs out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I am also going to take the time to go sit in my little chair that I have down in my little um, office and I'm going to sit and start reading my book and then just relaxing and drinking my Woda, which I am doing my Woda challenge and I am going to start doing that and I got to add the money to that. I know I got like so many little challenges that I'm actually doing. This one right here is called Drink It Up Challenge. So that's how, that's what I'm actually going to be doing. All right. So debt payoff goals. I am still working on lows. So this needs to be paid off by November 15th. I thought it was September, but it's actually November 15th. No spend goals. I'm just going to do the same thing. I want to still focus on my dying out or not savings challenge. And then that is filling up my alpha savings challenge because I'm rolling my money over. So that will help me 
um, save for a car. And my car is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. My car is paid off. But like I said, I don't want to get into that mode where I'm like waiting till the last minute. I want to go ahead and make sure I have like a cushion. But since it's not like a dying need right now, I feel like I can utilize a savings challenge and I can utilize to actually do that. And then when I finish my challenge, which this one right here, I can save up. It's like almost $5,000. So, and then once I'm done, I can just, um, take it all out, take the money all out. And then I can just put it in my HYSA and then I can just start over. And then, so that'll be like almost 5,000, 5,000 each time. All right. So I'm going to continue to do that for my, um, savings challenge. And then like another thing, I got so many things I'm going to say also, I have an eat out envelope. So eat out. Um, so I'm just gonna put this with the no spin. So I'm gonna allow myself to eat out at least once because I've been doing pretty good. Like once to go grab something really nice. So I do have crisp also. And did I take, yeah, I do have crisp. But I'm saying like, if I want to get something else, this is just my crisp envelope because I got to get my salad. <laughs> but just like an envelope, just like to go eat out. Like if I want to go get Chipotle, I already tore up my, my um, groceries. Um, where's my eat out? What do y'all, where's my eat out? Did y'all see that? Oh, I didn't pass it like 630,000 630, times, whatever 630,000 times is. So this is my money for eat out here. So that way I can have, and I think what I've been actually doing, I've been doing like 50 bucks and that's actually been working pretty good. Savings goals, we're gonna still do the same for the Roth IRA. And then this is automatic transfers. And then we're gonna do the emergency. We're gonna do the same 500 and then for the savings. But even though I put 500, if you can actually do more, that is actually good also. So savings, we're still going to maximize on our alpha savings challenge. So that's a goal of mine that I have. Investment, which I put here, but we're going to do the Roth IRA. I'm going to actually, I know I do have like a little bit of debt, but I am actually going to SHCD. Um, I'm going to grab maybe this month, maybe two, two or three stocks of those. I've been watching... Um, mommy traders um youtube i've been like in the background watching and she is i know she says like she's not a financial advisor but my god she has a lot of like information that you can just like it's crazy you can learn a lot from just watching her channel like it's crazy so important dates we just have halloween that's on the 31st i don't think i have anything other important than that I mean, that was not important in that, but I'm going to take eight and trick or treating. So, because we got like three or four places that we're going to hit. And if I'm off, that'll give me good time to get started. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to dress up or not. Usually I just wear what I have on because usually I get off of work and I have to take them. So usually I am, I guess I'm going as a nine to five worker. That's what my costume is. <laughs> a nine to five worker. That's what it is. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do my monthly bill tracker. So this is payday is on, what we say payday was first and nope, I'm doing the most here. I said the payday was on the first and I know the payday ain't on the first. Payday is on the 11th and then the next one is on the 25th. All right, so we got, and this is my real time tracker here. And this I'm going to, because usually I just speed through it, but I kind of want to like talk about it because um, so that way you can get a little bit more information off of it. And so what I do is for this, I just pretty much do like the mortgage and then I do after school. So this is like my check ledger. So when this money hits my account and it comes out and I can see it, I do actual that I paid and I do pay because if it's like an automatic and if it's a different amount, I do pay for that. So just like one time I had this, I forgot I did 90, but it was actually 85 and paid it so that's why um i really like this blue pen so we got second so guy goes 185 10 so we got will's credit card and 156 and then we have um the eighth we got after school and then 
we have 90. I don't know why I hesitated. I was like, what the world? Um, we got the ninth. I don't know why I keep doing 08 when I should just do 8th after school. All right, we got Wodeville. And then that is a 4881. We got Brinks. And that is the 12. I am like curious to see what Aiden is making because he just came down here and got a whole bunch of supplies. Talking about some, he need this, he need that. And then he saw me doing my videos. So he was like, I don't know if you guys can hear him. He was like, do you have some tape I can use? <laughs> I was like, I just handed it to him. So, so the 14th, we got AEP. And then, oh, did you guys also see where they said with um, all of the things when like the power goes out, like if the power goes out in your neighborhood, I know I said the power goes out like two, three, five times, but um, cause I'm trying to write too and I'm trying to, but did you see where they said that I, it, it didn't dawn on me and it, and it makes sense. Um, they said when your power does come out, it only takes a second to go and click on the light for your front porch or whatever one that is out to the road so they can see. So that way they can know that everybody's power is back on. Um, I knew I was gonna do this talking. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, but isn't that like such a good idea? I didn't, it's just be things like that that you don't think about, but if somebody else says it and you're like, why didn't I think of that? But they said that is something that you can do. All right, so we got 22nd again. We have after school. And then Aiden is like yelling. Okay, so we got 24th. We got X, ooh, I can't spell Xfinity. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so we got $75. And we got 29th and we got gym so that's 82 and this is going to be 90 for the 29th and this is going to be for after school all right so then after this on the bottom what i do is i do um credit cards and i'll show you guys what this looks like and i got um my son and then i got car and then I got home, utilities, and then um, entertainment. And then I got help. Oh, I knew, I almost did it, I almost got through it. Help, <laughs> without doing that, that I always do. Okay, so this right here, when I'm actually pretty much, and then I like to do my auto payments. I do like to do that too. So we're gonna use this marker here. So this will be all of my auto payments. So we have um, Netflix. We have Brinks as an auto payment. We have Xfinity as an auto payment and then the gym is an auto payment. So those are ones that are actually coming out whenever. All right, and then, oh, let me show you. So then the monthly calendar once it's done, should look like this. So that's what it should look like. So what I do is I just go through and I just color code. And this is tells me how much I've spent in each category each month. So this is what it'll look like once it's finished. Um, so I know you're probably like, what is that? Where are we doing? All right, I'm gonna open this back up real quick. And I act, you know what? I'm gonna do this real quick. And I'm just gonna put these, cause I don't think I need these stickers anymore. And I'm gonna do that like so, like that. And then we're gonna open this up full force here. All right. Okay. And so this is when we do our paycheck budget. So sometimes I'll pay myself for my side hustle, and sometimes I'll just if I don't need anything, I don't take the money out. But I do just sometimes I just move it to my savings. So this is for our paycheck. So you have your paycheck date, and then this will be the 11th, and then the next one. I'm gonna keep them blank so that I can just do it. Um, won't have any mishaps for that and then oh i forgot to tell you guys i am actually going to be start implementing um my yearly well yeah yearly monthly savings challenge whatever you want to call it 
so this is what it looks like so i'm actually gonna i think i am going to do it like this so these are the um cards that go in there they're reusable this is going to be a monthly so what i did i just put these envelopes in here i actually like this blue blue till i do like this so um, I'm going to do each month in here. So these are like low amounts and high amounts too. So um, so you have January, if you're February, and then I guess I'm showing you guys. All right, so then you have your March, and then we have April, and then we have May, And then we have June. So I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and start this now or not. Or just wait till the new year, July. Look at that. <laughs> totally, dude. <laughs> okay, then we have August. And I might just, I don't know. I might just go ahead and start this challenge in it. Oh, I got this. This is in here. I might put that on the front of my little binder. And then I got September. And then we got October, boo, boo. And then we have November. And then we have December. So I might, I might start it, I'm not sure. So this is um, my little yearly savings. I'm gonna see what this looks like on here. Oh yeah, that looks super cute. So yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, yeah. Move this over there. Okay, um, back to what we were doing. All right, so this is the paycheck budget. So let's see. So this is the paycheck budget. So one, two, third week, fourth week, fifth week. All right, so this is the weekly expense tracker. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill in my weeks. So the first week will be the first through the sixth. All right, the second week will be the 7th through the 13th. All right, the next week will be the 14th through the 20th. And then the next week will be the 21st through the 27th. And, and then the last week you have the 28th through the 31st. All right, and then this here is a debt snowball plan that we have, but like I said, I use, I know what I did with my other one. I stuck it somewhere, but I've just been doing my debt payoff with my payment tracker here. Um, it's just a notepad, but I don't wanna open this because this is a new one. So, um, but I do have a notepad where I stuck it somewhere, but yeah. You know. So that's what I've been doing for my debt snowball, or you can use this before I had my, payoff tracker i was using the sheet here all right so next i just going these right here i just keep these empty because um these are just if i have like extra cash or if i want to do like sinking funds for aiden's binder my binder or if i want to do for like something like this and then you have your write it down i do like things that i need to pay and just notes and stuff like that and then here we go all right and then i am actually going to do like a little separate emergency funds tracker back here i'm gonna actually start doing this so i might do i'm gonna do it for a low amount but i'm gonna try to work on there and then i have my um savings tracker goal here so i probably um, ended up utilizing these for the, those are like extras in the back all right guys so thank you so much for chilling with me through this video of setting up my budget for um october and hopefully you guys were able to set your budget up too and then also all of the things that you see here most of these things you can find them on my website at www.pinkloft.co if you don't send me a message and i can see if i do have it in stock or if i don't we'll take a look at it all right guys and then also um you can follow me on my instagram and tiktok is called a pink cloth life and then like i always say thank you guys happy budgeting until next time peace